Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here checking out some of the best boutique hotels in Chiang Mai. Absolutely, and if any of the following hotels catch your eye, we have left a link in the description to all of them and how to book, so please check that out. It really helps the channel when you book through those links. Yeah, and we've also written a full article with much more detail about each hotel. We've added a link to that in the description as well. Brilliant, let's go. This is Bing Nakara, and as soon as you walk in, you get this sort of cozy, intimate vibe. Yeah, it's, it's the atmosphere here is so peaceful and quiet. Yeah, also though, check out how we got here. <laughs> That was staged, but you can get a fancy car, a driver, pick you up from the airport for just 650 baht, so definitely do that. I know it hasn't got anything to do with the quality of the rooms or the hotel or anything like that, but this entire thing, it's not a tapestry. It's actually hand-painted. It took two years of local artists. They've hand-painted this whole thing. I just thought it was cool. There are 19 rooms and three different options, starting with the deluxe room and the grand deluxe. How cute is this welcome letter? And then you've got your spa menu, here, you've got like information about local transport, you've got a movie menu, how good that. You can just choose from all these different films. Um, you've got your information about Wi-Fi and like the, the hotel in general. And this is how you call for room service. It's the little things for me though. So how many hotels have you actually been in that actually put a sofa in front of the TV? It's always, it's always like the bed and then the TV and watching a film in bed is just annoying. Watching TV in bed is just annoying. They've actually got the sofa in front of the TV so you can just chill and relax. Like, it's a small thing for me. If you're coming as a family, you might have kids who want their own room, they can stay in the deluxe room with the twin beds and it connects to the grand deluxe room. where the adults can stay. The pool itself is actually right in the middle of the hotel, but it actually still feels really secluded because yeah. they've got this bank of, of reeds and some hedgerow, and it, it, it still feels really peaceful in there. And that's right next to the on-site restaurant, and that does breakfast and has a poolside menu. Yeah, and to top it all off, next to that is the spa, the on-site spa, which you have a menu in your room. Uh, you can cool down and book your treatments, your massages. And it looks uh, insane, doesn't it? It does. You can do a couple's massage, you can do it yeah. on your own if you need a bit of peace. <laughs> um, but yeah, it is gorgeous. <laughs> you said to top it all off the spa, we've forgotten about the library and the conservatory, very Cluedo-esque, and the recently refurbished bar, the bar. The which bar is, is nice. spectacular. Is. I mean, it's, you might have a different idea of what your perfect bar is, but relaxing in there in the yeah. evening with an old-fashioned or something perfect like that. Perfect for a nightcap, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. I don't actually usually recommend the top tier room when we come to hotels like this because mid tier rooms usually tend to have, they tend to be the best value for money yeah. because- And they're still amazing. Yeah, they're usually amazing yeah. and significantly less than the top tier room. Yeah, yeah. But the Royal Grand Deluxe here, I know I really fell in love with it. I would definitely book that room as well. <laughs> yeah, it's the balcony and, and the spa bath just takes it, just yeah. takes it that little bit above. <laughs> yeah, so definitely check it out. We don't actually know how to play chess, so uh, this is just a fancy looking prop. Uh, so let's uh, on to the next one. <laughs> This is insane. Yeah, I know. This is so much food. Um, they're going to think we're pigs. <laughs> we every, are. Every now and again, we go to a, a hotel where we think, oh, this is fancy, this looks nice, mm. it's got a really good vibe, it's got all the facilities. And then we look at the price and we're like, oh, what? Why is it? It's so low, it's so yeah. good. And where we are now, it's Yu Chiang Mai. Yu Chiang Mai. Right? Yu Chiang Mai. So check this out in the description because. This place has, it has the spa, it has the gym, gym it has pool access, it has pool access rooms. Rooftop bar. It's got food like this, including afternoon and tea. And we're good such a good well. location as well. We are on the main walking street, the Sunday markets. Yeah. So this is like such a good place to be. It's and like in the middle. It's absolutely insane. Uh, so check it out because the price absolutely blows away. Say hello, Jake. You can <laughs> see her in the mirrors. And all of these bikes you can see, they're all free of charge. Just grab one, take it around the whole time you're here. It's the only place we've seen where they're free of charge and they're actually really decent. And the gym's half decent as well. It's lovely and cool in here and it's a good size. So this is the deluxe pool access room. You've got your lovely bed, 
loving the cute little elephant as well. You've got a nice sofa to relax, there's a bath as well, full size bath, amazing coffee machine, my favourite. And then you've got the pool access directly from the room. It's shared between you and the room next door, but how good's that? So this is the pool, this is right in the middle of the entire complex, you can see all of the rooms surrounding it. The one on the top here, that's the private pool for those three pool access rooms, but this one in the middle, that's open 14 hours a day, right in the middle, gorgeous. As you can see, there's a restaurant on site, but I actually, Jade mentioned it earlier, that we're in the rooftop bar right now, and we haven't been to a place with a rooftop bar. No, and they have an all day happy hour, so. All day? <laughs> yeah. The last time you mentioned a happy hour, I was like, what, do they? Yeah, I, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know that, <laughs> do they? I'm always on the lookout for happy hour deals. <laughs> I reckon we've sold it enough, haven't we? Yeah, I think this so. This place is immense. Check it out in the description. We're going to suck in. Yes, we are. So we've taken you to a couple of absolute blowout five-star luxury boutique hotels. So now we've brought you over to My Chiang Mai Boutique Lodge to show you actually what you can get on a significantly lower budget. But still with all the facilities from the luxury places, bar, pool, spa bar. <laughs> the only thing this place doesn't have that the last two did have is a built-in spa. Yes, but, I but mean, there's loads of spas around nearby, yeah. so you don't necessarily how, need that in your hotel. And how much less you're paying here, mm. and you're about to see how gorgeous this place is, exactly. it's, it's astounding. Yeah. There are five different types of rooms, ranging from just a standard shower, double bed, to family suites with a spa bath, you've got your kitchenette sometimes, and some of them have a pool um, a pool view from the balcony as well. And one of them has an absolutely huge balcony as well. Yeah, like really long. A long balcony. <laughs> My favourite would probably be the deluxe room. Yeah. I think that's got, the, that's got the bath, it's got a couple of hobs, a small kitchenette, mm. it's got the nice TV and the double bed. I think probably because we're a couple and I think that would probably Work be the best. Us, yeah. if, if you're a couple, the Deluxe is probably the best room to go for. Yeah. What really blows me away with places like this is like how much less it is. Yeah. Like yeah. You've still got an absolutely lush pool, you can see it right next to us. You've got a huge indoor area where you can like for breakfast and things like that, it's gorgeous. Like the, the decoration is amazing. The rooms, I mean, I wouldn't improve the rooms, no, I couldn't they're, improve they're the rooms, amazing, but yeah. they're, they're furnished really, really well. The beds are really, really comfortable. Really spacious as well. You've got a lot of space. Exactly. That's I mean, thing. behind us, you can see the bikes, you can, you can yeah, rent rental, bikes. Yeah, bike rental of 80 baht for 24 hours. That's yeah. fantastic. And all the staff here, they want to help you book anything anything you want to book. Like They have a massive rack of leaflets of all the different mm. places you can go in Chiang Mai. So I, I, I just think that the actual experience you'd have here isn't that much different. No, the experience for sure. Yeah, like yeah. obviously the other places might touch. have a little bit more luxury, a little bit more class, a, li a, li a little bit more like five starness yeah. about them. <laughs> but, but you're the actual experience, so much more, aren't you? You are. Yeah, so much but more. the actual experience I can't see is any different. I, I highly recommend My Chiang Mai Boutique yeah, Lodge if you're, sure. if you're on a budget but you still want all of the things that we've, we're, we have shown and will show in this video. Yeah, and it's a great location as well. It's not too far yeah. away from the city, but it's close enough to you can have a walk around, yeah. get some street food or something. And also, yeah, you can just sit here and have a beer. Oh, and it has a bar. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. So we highly recommend this place uh, for couples, solo travellers, groups as well. Just if you're looking for that fun vibe, but with a bit of more luxury than as just a standard hotel, definitely check out My Chiang Mai Boutique Hotel. We got like three hours until the next place. You fancy a beer? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> This is 137 Pillars House and it's called that because the original building of where the restaurants and the bar are were actually built on 137 Pillars. So I think that's quite a cute little story, isn't it? It is. That's how, um, how it got its name. We've actually come straight from the entrance. Uh, they opened the door for us and we came straight through the entire, the entire grounds and we came straight into here, into this bar. And we've got this incredible Amazing. afternoon tea. <laughs> so we're so going to jump straight into this. And after this, we'll uh, show you around and show you, because just walking through, we've already been blown away. It is insane here. It's going <laughs> to be a fun day, I think. <laughs> so Jade would got a little orange mocktail and then the manager came over to me and said, oh, we actually do a cocktail with fire and smoke and all sorts of things. And I was like, you had me at fire. So it's called the Aged Teak. I can't wait for this. Before serving, we uh, dine it with uh, cinnamon stick and uh, herb.
just enjoy it. That is my kind of cocktail. That is absolutely beautiful. Ha! So this is the croquet lawn. This is right bang in the middle of the entire complex. So you can play croquet whenever you want. Can you teach me how to play? Because I'm a southern middle class posh boy. You think I know how to play croquet? Yeah. Grab a ball, I'll teach you. <laughs> <laughs> One Three Seven Pillars House is the epitome of opulence and luxury, and this is their top tier suite, the Louis Leon Owens Pool Suite. As you can see, it has literally everything you could possibly ever want. I actually don't know what else to say about One Three Seven Pillars House. I haven't been to a place like this before. It's no, absolutely. It's incredible. Do you know what I feel like? Like you're, you're being transported. So we're not that far from the city. You've got all the like the hustle and bustle. You've got the tuk tuks running around. You've got like the street food, the mar the walking market. It's just down the road. But then you come in here and it's like, well, you're a completely different place. It's so think. peaceful. Yeah. And so tranquil. It's incredible, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. It, like I say, the video speaks for itself. The rooms, the, the restaurant, the pool, the croquet lawn. <laughs> It is, of course, to the higher end of the budget, yes. okay? If it is in your budget, then they, I don't think there's anything better than, no. anywhere better than this. Maybe it's your honeymoon, or it's a special occasion, special occasion or it's a birthday, sure. yeah. then this is also an absolutely great option, because this is unforgettable. This is like a, this is, you come here, and this will be one of the best places you ever come. Mm. Absolutely. Yeah. The restaurant we're in now is the Palette Restaurant, and for the last three years it's been recommended for Michelin star. So it's going to be a Michelin star soon. There's an open breakfast bar, so you can watch your food being cooked in the morning, and then in the afternoon they change it so you can have a cooking class there, which is pretty cool, on site. And I just remembered, there's so many incredible things here, we forgot to even mention the spa. Okay, yeah, there's, there's an <laughs> of course spa. there's a spa here. <laughs> it's because it's right near the entrance, so we walk through and past that, but there's an on-site spa, so you can get all that treatment here as well. I mean, it's 100% recommended. Yeah. If it's in your budget, then this 100%, is the place. Yeah. This is a very unique place to stay in Chiang Mai. Definitely come. <laughs>
so that's fantastic. Yeah, and it's quiet here as well, so it's so peaceful, isn't it? I can't hear anything. No, you're not going to be woken up by traffic and honking motorbikes in the morning. <laughs> Would you recommend this hotel? Absolutely. But to be honest, guys, you're probably going to stop saying that because we're not going to put a, we're not going to put a hotel in this video that we don't, we don't recommend. recommend no. So they're all great. All of them are great. So yeah, obviously we recommend it. It's, it's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. I want to get into the water so bad. I'm yeah. so hot. It's 35 degrees. Is it? Yeah. Bring shorts next time and get in. Yeah, it's a good idea. On to the next one, guys. <laughs> this is a Matalana Boutique Hotel, and it's just on the southeast of the city. I actually booked this this hotel, this exact hotel for Jade's birthday this year because I don't know why, but when I was going through booking.com looking for, for a decent hotel, this one just really caught my eye. Yeah. It's just, it, it's really, really beautiful. I mean, you, you hit the nail on the head. <laughs> the spa bar particularly was oh, like the spa a highlight. Bar. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, I say I don't know why, I know yeah. exactly why. <laughs> I know Jade wanted a spa bath, and this, yeah, it's got a great spa bath. Yeah. It's actually so powerful that it, it, it we turned oh, it on yeah. a bit too early and it went <laughs> everywhere. But it's, it's really, really good. Yeah, and all the rooms here, there are 14 rooms, and all of the rooms have a spa bath. So even if you're, you want a twin room or a double room, you can always have that jacuzzi experience. There is a restaurant here as well, so you can have breakfast um, and you can have lunch and dinner throughout the day. It's a small menu, but it's a local Thai menu, so you can have like tom yum soup, a variety of curries. Just ask them and see what they've got. I think when you're looking to book a, like a boutique hotel, you're looking for that personal experience. And when we were here, I think one of the things that got me about a Matalana was, I mean, when we asked for a whiskey glass, we were like, yeah. oh, I'm having a bit of whiskey tonight. Do you have a whiskey glass? And they came back with a crystal whiskey glass. Like, and the ice bucket and, and the wine glasses. Bucket. Exactly, yeah. and like even an ice, ice um, tongs and all this yeah. sort of stuff. So they want to make sure that your experience and your, your stay here is as personal, as, as brilliant as possible. They're going, to, yeah. they're going to try and do everything for you. You don't really get that at the big hotels, do you? No, because they're too busy looking at, out for all of the other guests, yeah. but because it's so small and kind of... Cozy. Uh, yeah, cozy. It's yeah. exactly <laughs> what you're looking for in a boutique hotel. You know what's really sad? Go on. I forgot my trunks again. <laughs> let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. <laughs> what was your favourite? You always ask me that and I never tell you. Yeah, to be fair, they're all pretty nice as well. Yeah, I don't, know if, I don't even know if I have a favourite no. <laughs> Why don't you guys tell us what your favourite was in the comments below? And if this video has been helpful, remember to like and subscribe. And again, if any of those hotels caught your eye, the link's in the description. It really helps the channel going through those links. We'll see you on the next one, guys.